we can use factor pairs to help us multiply. So for this first question, we have 17 times 16. Now 17 is a prime number. Its only factors are 1 and 17. But 16 is a composite number. 16 is 2 times 8. So we can multiply 17 by 2. That's the first number in our factor pair. And then we can take our answer and multiply by the 8. So 7 times 2 is 14, so 1, 4. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So now we can take that 34 and multiply it by the other number in our factor pair. 4 times 8 is 32, so 3, 2. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So by multiplying 17 by 2 and then by 8, we've multiplied by 16. Our answer is 272. Now we have 23 times 21. Again, the first number in our question is a prime number, so we can't use factor pairs for 23. But 21 is 3 times 7, so we can multiply 23 by 3 and then take our answer and multiply that by 7. Now, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, so we can take that 69 and multiply it by 7. 9 times 7 is 63, so 6, 3. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 6 is 48. So, 23 times 21 is 483. Now, 72 times 36. 36 we can make from 6 times 6. So, we can multiply 72 by 6 and then take our answer and multiply it by 6 again. 2 times 6 is 12, so 1, 2. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 1 is 43. So now we can take our answer and multiply it by the last digit or the last number in our factor pair. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. And 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So 72 times 36 is 2,592.